and welcome back to my channel. If you want to learn five things that will help you improve your crocheting right now, then please keep on watching. So number one, you always want to count your stitches. You know, it doesn't matter if you just started crocheting or if you've been crocheting a long time. This is an absolute must, and especially if you're following a pattern. This will make sure that your edges don't become uneven, or even worse, you start to get a taper in your project because you've had too many or too little stitches. Believe me, I've been there, and it's extremely disappointing when your blanket suddenly turns into a giant triangle. So the second one is an obvious one. Um, you want to select projects that you love. Now this is important because if it's something that you love or you're super excited about doing, then you're going to be willing to put forth the work and effort in order to make it. And you just can't wait to see the end result and to be able to show somebody and be like, look, this is something that I made. Number three. Now, if you're worried about how much time you're going to devote to this new project, then this tip is totally for you. Okay, so, and the tip is to listen to an audiobook, listen to your favorite music, or watch your favorite TV show. Okay, here's the reason why. And it really has a twofold effect. First, when you think about crocheting, then it will put you in a positive frame of mind. It'll make you look forward to working on the project. Second, it will help to alleviate some frustration. For example, you might not be able to get the stitches right or you have to keep taking it out and, and redoing it. So that will take your frustration to, why can't I just get this right? To, where am I getting off so that I can keep going and fix it? So this is honestly my favorite tip because personally I love watching TV uh, while I crochet, uh, especially because since I'm just going to be sitting there anyways, I might as well have something to show for the effort afterwards. So number four, if possible, uh, find a buddy to crochet with. Uh, this doesn't mean that you have to work on the same projects, but if you do have a support system, then you'll be able to troubleshoot, find what works for the other person while they're learning, and it will really help to build enthusiasm. Then it's not going to be something that you're e easily going to give up because you won't feel like you're alone. And number five. Uh, do not compare yourself or your work to other people. Now, I know that this is going to be hard, trust me. But a lot of things that you'll find on the internet are th things that are made by people who have been crocheting for years. And even if you're looking at something that somebody who's still learning how to crochet is making, some skills to learn are easier for some people than there are others. So especially with learning a new craft, you need to learn to be patient with yourself. You're not going to get it right the first time. I've been crocheting for years and half the time, even with the pattern, I still get it wrong and I have to rework it. So there's no pressure if you can't get it right the first time. It's really just part of the learning process. So that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified in my next video. See you next time.